and welcome to episode number five of the Felsafe Fitness Podcast. My name is Michael Joshua. I am the owner and lead programmer of Failsafe Fitness Limited. Welcome to the show. Five weeks in, it's been a, a nice response. A lot of clients, family, friends, and you guys out there are all listening to this. There have been a few technical difficulties. We've had a couple of bits and bobs and some missing recordings and a few hiccups here and there but everything's a process including podcasting so these early episodes are feet finding and function finding and fatal floor finding as well so just like uh, health and fitness and golf game everything's trial and error until we get things right and we hit a formula that is going to be flawless but nothing is flawless, is it? That's the world we live in today. So apologies and thank you for listening in, in advance. And I hope you grow as well as I do throughout this whole process. Normal format will resume as well this week, of course. So we're going to have our fitness tip, our nutrition tip. A uh, little bit of self-promotion and, of course, our golf tip of the week. But we'll start off as normal with what's happened this week for me. And this week's been very interesting. So I've had a few people who, personal training clients who are stuck in a rut. They've been doing things for 18 months, two, three years. Throughout the pandemic, they've tried to lose a little bit of weight. And they've got they've got kind of stuck nutritionally they're doing okay but just exercise wise they're a little bit stuck in a rut so we're trying a few things a little bit different uh, a couple of those clients are three for two clients which we'll get to and the golf side of things i'm trying to get a little bit more putting practice in and i'm going to be in skegness at the start of february trying to get a couple of rounds in uh seacroft being one of them probably one of my favorite courses on the in the country uh in the uk to go and play is, is seacroft uh, very challenging very up and down a very interesting golf course i love skegness so it's going to be fun but yeah golf side i'm trying to get a little bit better and of course i've had a, a, a few new clients that side as well one of them hasn't played for 35 years and it's very interesting because i've got a set of clubs that i had as a junior um and, a, and that sets uh, an old set of blades that I, I used to play off scratch with uh 30 years ago so he they look very familiar to him in terms of the style of clubs he was using back then too so it was nice to be able to hand him one of those and he instantly feel a little bit familiar not only with the length but the lofts and and how they should feel but with a modern golf ball obviously they feel a little bit harsher now than what they did back then uh and going back and then handing him a, a new modern iron you know a 20 2018 2019 built iron he couldn't believe that he was he was hitting the one okay then going into a modern iron how much more higher the launch the ball speed increased and i said yeah it's the modern game i said i had a 20 year break and you've had a 35 year break so we're both coming from an era where golf didn't really change that much and now there's so many options on the line so that's been interesting for me to have someone who shared my experience in terms of coming going away and coming back to golf and it's been awesome <coughs> i've enjoyed that it's been it's been an interesting week for me so yeah it's been fun uh, new clients new three for two clients it's been awesome thank you for coming thank you for joining uh, that promotion is is coming to almost to an end now so yeah it's been a good week i've had a, had fun great meeting new people uh and i'm always chatty this is the reason why i started this I, I do chat some crap most of the time but this is just me getting my crap on tape and putting it out for someone to listen to they might pick something up if you don't great if you do wonderful let me know 
uh, which is a, a subject we'll get on to now. If you have got any questions, whether that be golf performance related, nutrition and weight management related, training related, failsafefitness at hotmail.com. Send them in. I've almost got enough now, I think, to do a show, whether that be 20, 30, 40 minutes long as just a, a your questions answered kind of deal. Failsafefitness at hotmail.com. Send them in and I will record that show for early February. I'm not going to say it's going to be on the same schedule as this or replace one of these, but it might be an extra bonus show that I can put up for you guys and girls. So yeah, it's been a good week. Get those questions in. So, tip of the week, fair fitness tip of the week for me is something that I've banged on about for the last five years and it's the fitness industry has banged on probably for about 15 years. The use of kettlebells, the kettlebell swing to be precise. So, so many variants, you got single arm, You've got double arm swing, you've got switching arms, you've got the uh, Russian and the American. So the Russian is pretty much the standard that we see, sort of chest chest to chin height, and then the American goes over that, over the shoulder, almost, almost over the shoulder, so your your inside of your body, your biceps are up by your ears, basically. So it's overhead, creating a little bit more fulcrum force on the way down. Both great exercises, and kettlebells are fairly inexpensive these days. They're a great way to do it, and I, I challenge anyone to go and buy yourselves a, you know, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 16, 20 kilo kettlebell, swing it 50 times a day for 30 days, and tell me that something hasn't changed. So, tip of the week is go and get yourself a kettlebell, start a... You know, 20, 10 a day, 20 a day, 30 a day, 40 a day, 50 a day swings, kettlebell swings. You don't have to do them all at once. You can break them up. You do 10 in the morning, 10 at 11 o'clock, 10 at dinner, 10 at tea time, and 10 before you go to bed. Uh, and tell me that, 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 you know, 40 or 50 kettlebell swings a day is not going to change your quality of life. Because it will. It's a whole body experience. It's back, legs, arms, glutes, core strength. And probably just stability in general for walking around, getting up, sitting down. You're gonna you're gonna feel it. So yeah, kettlebell swings are my exercise of the week, and the kettlebell itself is the piece of equipment you need to go and buy. Moving into nutrition, well, this has been the interesting one for me. It's something that I was getting a lot of pre-pandemic so just before I was about to go fully independent uh, summer August sort of 9, 2019 I was getting a lot of clients come do I switch from sugar to sweetness in my tea and coffee and you know hot drinks and the answer in my opinion is a full no why would you take out something that is it's processed, yes. I'll give you that. It's it, it's quite processed, but your body can handle it. It's a natural sugar. It's a form that you, you put in your tea and coffee. It melts away. Your body will deal with it. Whereas the chemical compounds that are found in a lot of sweeteners, there've been studies done, made, manufactured, whatever that you know allegedly some of them can cause cancer or help promote cancer, and you know sugar's not great on that either, but. Switching something that is a naturally recurring product to something that's built in a lab and then put in a tablet and this tiny, tiny, tiny tablet is a thousand, two thousand, ten thousand times sweeter than a spoon of sugar cannot be good for you. That simple. Same with most sweeteners. They're not good for you. I mean, even switching to something like a, a agave will be better than than you know cutting out sugar completely as a full stop or even buying sweetness so my best advice would be switch to an agave that's going to be a little bit healthier for you more naturally occurring 
compound of of sweetener um but don't go to actual sweeteners but the best thing overall is take four weeks so if you take one sugar in your tea and coffee take that one sugar cut it down to three quarters of a spoon for four weeks then cut it down to half a spoon for four weeks then cut it down to a quarter of a spoon for four weeks and then by that time comes around that's three months it's a long time and everything takes time to process you don't expect to do 50 kettlebell swings today and then tomorrow look like Arnold Schwarzenegger that doesn't happen but if you did 50 kettlebell swings for the next 30 days and then did 60 for the 30 days after that then 70 by the end of the year you are you know you're doing some ridiculous amount of kettlebell swings you know probably into the hundreds of kettlebell swings a day it's gonna force a change and by doing things slowly and building them or doing things slowly to take them away your your body and your muscle memory and your your, your flavors and your tastes will change so yeah replacing sugar with sweeteners no replace it with an agave syrup or sweetener uh, agave compound that's naturally occurring or best solution is just cut it down and then cut it out eventually and then when you don't take any sugar you'll be able to taste the flavors you know a lot of coffees these days even a lot of teas are coming many flavors so just switch your tea stop doing boring tea bags and go and get yourself a lemon or a mint or a honey flavor or chamomile flavored tea and you're going to get the flavor you don't need the sugar you can enjoy yourself you're still getting your caffeine hit so yeah no my opinion do not replace your sugar that you're putting in your tea and coffee with sweetness end of done self-promotion time then so i've already mentioned it january 2023 to the 31st we are doing a three for two promotion three for two so you can get three sessions of nutrition weight management personal training or golf performance coaching for the price of two you can buy a maximum of three of those so that's nine sessions for the price of six and all those sessions need to be used by april the 1st 2023 get in touch email give us a ring or book via the website and we can sort those out for you space is very limited time is very limited but the you know in terms of uh, time days are getting lighter so there's going to be more daylight to do the golf sessions there's going to be a little bit more time for me then also to do sessions outdoors in terms of uh, fitness training and also gives me a little bit more time and daylight to see what you guys are doing nutritionally so come and get your three for two offer nine for six is a maximum you've got till the end of january 31st of january and they are all then valid until the first of april so you get three months to do nine sessions so it's at your leisure but this offer will probably not come around again in a hurry so get on board while you can there's been a lot of interest picked up two or three golf clients there's two or three personal training clients time and space is running out so get on board for that three for two self-promotion over final part of the podcast is my golf tip of the week so we fixed your putting we fixed the fact that you've got a random bag of balls they're all the same now we've warmed you up and you've got clean grooves to hit the ball into the green so my tip this week is routine and something that popped up with a couple of lessons this week is that the golfers that I've been coaching so far don't really have a set routine but when you watch the big guys on TV sometimes it doesn't look like they have a set routine either but they do they do have a set routine they'll take a look behind the ball they know the yardage they've got a club in their hands 
they're visualizing that shot so it's a great visualization is one of the great things you can do you know mind muscle collection so stood behind that ball on that tee or on that fairway visualize the shot that you want to hit where you want to start it where how it's going to fly whether it's left to right right to left dead straight which yeah they don't go dead straight do they no they don't they only go the only time they ever go dead straight is into a tree a lake or a pond in my my uh, experience anyway um so yeah visualize where it wants to go take your grip stand next to that ball just shy of it and then take one to two swings at that ball as if you were hitting that ball and visualize that ball going down the fairway you've clipped it you've hit it and it's where it's where it's going to go stand up and then hit that shot commit to that shot and stand up to that ball and stripe it with everything you've got with the commitment that you've made in your mind with the shot that you've visualized while you've been stood behind it and hit the shot so that's the routine i want everyone to do it's a routine i've tried to instill on all of my students and clients over the last few weeks and it's something that we can all do because having that routine will clear your mind from the three off the tee that you're now taking from the top that you've just hit from the chip out from the trees that you're really annoyed about being able to visualize on what's going to happen next and forgetting what happened in the past is a skill that is highly underrated in terms of the golf sport how many times have you seen a professional hit a shot and then hit a hit a hit into the trees or a bunker and then pull off this amazing second shot that's 10 15 feet from the hole which they hold for a birdie which you know five ten minutes ago was looking like a bogey so get yourselves a routine something along the lines of visualizing behind the ball take at least one practice swing as if you're going to hit it and then hit that shot the way you visualized it that mind muscle connection and forget about what you've just topped and that's it for this week so go buy yourselves a kettlebell go and do yourself a little kettlebell challenge of 30 40 50 a day with that weight and increase it and tell me how you get on don't be replacing your sugar and your hot drinks tea and coffees with sweetness that's not good just cut the sugar out if you can and three for two promotion is still on till the 31st of january time is running out and your golf tip of the week get yourselves a routine visualize the shot you want to play and go play it you have all the tools now clean grooves you're warmed up you've got the right ball and you can put you've just got to get it on the green so go enjoy your week i will see you again in a little over seven days thank you very much have a great week enjoy your kettlebells enjoy cutting your sugar out and enjoy better golf my name is michael have a great week